Okay, so today we are at Silverson F1 track. We're here for the new Red Bull Strava event that is launching with the flying laps and we are going to be running the full lap of Silverson today, which is 5.9 kilometers. We're doing it as a bit of a handicap race, so I'm going off last. It should be pretty fun. We're hoping that the timings work out so that we should all be finishing pretty close together on the finish line behind us. So yeah, really, really cool incentive. Um, you'll probably hear more about it over the course of this video, but basically, yeah, it's something that's launching on Strava with the start of the F1 season, but to encourage everyone to keep their kind of new year resolutions going, keep running, keep active over this four week period. Good morning everyone, thank you for coming to the Red Bull Flying Laps uh, immersion day that we have today. So do a bit of a warm up, bit of a, some pit lane strides and then we're going to run a lap of the Silverstone track. We launch our campaign today, uh, the Strava challenge that is Red Bull Flying Laps. Flying Laps is our new nationwide campaign, we're really excited about it. It's a fitness challenge um, that's launching with an F1 twist. So the idea is that people are sort of, by this point in February, they're kind of ready to give up on their New Year's resolutions, ready to sort of throw in the towel. So we want to give them the motivation to keep going. We're challenging you and all the participants to run their fastest lap of Silverstone Circuit, which is the equivalent of 5.9 kilometers. The challenge actually starts in a couple of weeks, um, just after the first F1 back on the 6th of March. And in order to complete it on Strava, you and like, all the participants have to run 5.9 kilometers once a week for four weeks over that challenge period. You could go to rebel.co.uk forward slash flying laps, um, sign up on there and then join the challenge on Strava. Um, and then today, obviously we're lucky enough to be here to run your very own lap around Silverstone, which is what the winners of the overall challenge will be invited down to do um, on the weekend of the British Grand Prix, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you guys are here to kind of try it out and yeah, show everyone what it's like. So the star of the show today, that we're introducing, the reason why we're all here is to um, be with our brilliant Lucy Charles, our Ironman athlete. Um, Lucy, how are you doing? Yeah, really Feeling good. good. Just yeah. got back from a camp in Lanzarote. Yeah, just got back from one, about to head off on another one, but this is a fun thing to throw in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> a no. little hit out on the track, so yeah, excited. The PTO have just announced today my first big race will be in Ibiza, which is super cool, right. on uh, May the 6th. So Not quite party season. Though. No, not <laughs> quite. Maybe <laughs> after party after the race, you never know if it goes well, yeah. but um, yeah, it's going to be a good season, I think. Oh, brilliant. So yeah, Lucy will be taking us through a bit of her like sort of dynamic warm-ups that does um, some strides up and down the pit lane, and then we'll get into the event itself. Rexy was like, oh, you have to go all out. I don't know, I don't think I'd go like all out. Um, yeah, Rexy was saying like maybe 3.5, 3.50 per second. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of a warm up that I would typically do for a run session. So we'll try and get you moving and as warm as quickly as possible. So, no, it's not that warm in here. So basically we're going to do either a drill or a movement for about 10 to 12 strides and then we'll just stop it that way and then we'll do it again coming back and then we'll keep swapping. So the first thing I normally do is start doing some deep ups. We're going to do more about six on each side. We're going to do one knee up with the other.
see me in the house. <laughs> what happens when we turn that corner. <laughs> setting up for the flying laps which is going to be a Red Bull initiative on Strava coming very soon. I think as this video goes live so will the event hopefully if we time it all right. We all had to run 5.9 kilometres which is the entire lap round Silverstone as fast or not as fast as we wanted. It felt like kind of like an event so I wanted to go a bit faster. It was actually the first run this year that I'd done in my carbon shoes so it felt really nice to put them on, lace them up and feel a bit faster. My official time for the 5.9 kilometers was 21.31. to run up you there to the get the 5.9. I took the racing line on every corner. Yeah. <laughs> well, I took the bullet away. <laughs> yeah, we're all good. Max has let his hair grow out a bit. <laughs> when you say sprint, there's probably going to be a slight pace difference here. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to yeah, make it look like you're just, Yeah, really stretch really fast. Do it in slow motion. <laughs> 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 You can go and give this a go as part of the Strava initiative. Basically, all you have to do is run 5.9 kilometers per week as one run. You can run further if you want, but the 5.9 kilometers in that run is what will count. You do that every week for four weeks, and then you could be in with the chance of actually getting to run like I did on the Silverson track yourself, plus some other really cool Red Bull prizes. You're very distracting down there. <laughs> You're very distracting down there. You can't come in the video now, it's a bit late. Do you want 
you want to be in it now? Yeah. Come on then. Come on then. So, as I was saying, because as this Strava Flying Laps Challenge launches, so does the F1 season, so you could be in with the chance of getting some tickets to the Silverstone F1. At this point in the year, most people are giving up on their New Year's resolutions. It's starting to get more difficult now, and this is to give you that extra boost to get out the door and go and run. So hopefully that will do this for you. <laughs> Yeah, I had a really fun time at Silverstone today with some cool people. Looking forward to all of you getting stuck in in the Strava Challenge. Okay, so at the moment, my time for the lap around Silverstone is the fastest, but see if you can go and beat it. We'll put a link in the description below for how you sign up, and we hope you do because it's obviously a really good initiative and should be super fun. As always, make sure to like and subscribe for future videos coming soon. It was 21.33. No, robbed myself of two seconds. Oh, I'm going to put you down now because you've been annoying. And we'll start that bit again. <laughs>